Hello, we're in Bio 112 at Beaufort County Community College. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about the pros and cons of genetically modified organisms. GMOs are genetically modified organisms and they are altered by changing their genetic makeup. They are most familiarly found in foods and medicines. There are 10 GMO crops. Those include alfalfa, apples, canola, corn, cotton, papaya, potatoes, soybeans, squash, and sugar beets. A common myth about GMOs is that it affects the butterfly and bee population. Well, that is a myth because it doesn't affect the bee population at all. And there are a variety of factors such as deforestation that impact the monarch butterfly population. So I'm looking up some of the pros to GMOs, and what I've found so far are they create plants to be resistant to weeds and diseases, it improves air quality by lowering the greenhouse gas effect, helps conserve water, less use of herbicides and other pesticides, don't need as fertile land, make foods taste better and can add nutritional value, the foods actually last longer on the shelf, and due to the growing human population, it's a good thing because they can create bigger yields. And they also have a high drought tolerance. GMOs may have several benefits to your health and well-being. However, there are some drawbacks to look at. New diseases are developing and research is being done by the FDA to see if they are linked to the GMOs. GMOs are still new and the FDA is still doing research on them to see if there's a long-term effect. It costs more to produce the GMO seeds for the crops and GMO is not needed for good nutrition and there are possibility of hazardous gene products from gene therapy. So what's you guys' opinions on GMOs? I think they are good because the pros outweigh the cons and there's not enough research for the negative claims of GMOs. Um, what do you guys think about store labeling GMOs? I think that they should be labeled because me personally, I'd like to know what I'm purchasing. But if GMOs were labeled, would you guys still continue to buy them even though they're the same thing as they were before? I mean, I would always like a healthier option, but GMOs are cheaper than the alternative. That's true, Courtney. GMOs are able to be produced in a larger quantity while using less space. Little known fact is that most processed foods are GMOs, so it seems a little unnecessary to label all of those products. Hi, how are you? I'm good. May I ask you some questions about GMOs today? Yeah. First, can you define a GMO for me? They're genetically modified organisms, right? Yes. Do you think they're helpful or harmful? Harmful. Why do you think they're harmful? I think that they do some bad things to your body because they're like made with chemicals. Do you think these foods should be labeled differently than traditional crops grown? I believe they should because people want to know what they're really eating. Some people are really questioning about, okay, has this been organically grown or has this been processed? I mean, Can you give me some examples of food that you think would be genetically modified? Most crops nowadays are actually genetically modified, such as corn, wheat. Every crop we grow, we grow right now and now today is I mean, they've all been genetically modified. An ear of corn used to only have about five or six pieces of corn on it, and it used to look like a wheat plant. But now it's got a total of maybe 48 to 80 kernels of corn on one piece, of one ear. Overall, we have talked about many things regarding GMOs today. There are very many pros as well as cons to GMOs. And if you have any questions, you can always go to the USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture's website, and that will give you a little bit more information on GMOs.